Hello. Welcome to a, uh, another chapter of Isaac Asimov's Book of Facts. This time it's art. Alright. A dramatic and nearly, nearly fatal misjudgment marked Pablo Picasso's birth. The midnight... The midwife thought the baby was stillborn and abandoned the baby, abandoned him on a table. Pablo nearly died of asphyxia before an uncle, seeing the baby struggling to, for breath, fetched a doctor. The most celebrated statue in antiquity, Park, Park, Pax, Tillits, nude Aphrodite, made in the 4th century BC, had an almost identical twin. The practical difference, the second of Aphrodite, which should in cause, was clothed. The nude Aphrodite stood for seven centuries at the highest point in Sindus, which was the tip of a peninsula in the far southwest of Turkey. The idea that American government should be involved in supporting the arts began with George Washington, who urged Congress in 1789 to use its best endeavors to improve the education and manners of a people to accelerate the progress of art and science to patronize works of genius, to confer awards of, for inventions of utility and to treasure, cherish institutions favorable to humanity. Succeeding presidents expressed a similar concern, but it took almost two centuries for a president to translate good intentions into official policy. In August, in, sorry, in 1962, President John F. Kennedy initiated government involvement by appointing August Heskirch as his special counsel in the arts. After painting his most famous work, Nude Ascending a Staircase, which was the cause of great controversy when it was exhibited at the New York Armory Show in 1913, the French cubist Marcel Duchamp, Duchamp abandoned painting for ready-made sculpture, such as found objects. He then abandoned art altogether for chess in the last 40 years of his life. Charles Wilson Peale, American uh, portraitist, who seven times painted George Washington from life, also made for him innovative dentures, elk teeth set in lead. Artists considered the basic color, basic colors to be red, yellow, and blue. But scientists say they have, they are red, green, and blue. No pigment combination of red, green, and blue will produce yellow. Yet, if a beam of red light and green light overlap, it results in yellow. So answer, the answer to this riddle lies primarily in the totally different ways colors are achieved with light and with pigments. When he won 100,000 francs in the state lottery, bought in the Credit France Fournes in 1891, Claude Monet became financially independent. He could then spend his life the way he wanted, and he did or wandering about and painting the French countryside. 
In France's most celebrated beauty, Madame Virginie Virgo Gauteur was presented was presented by the realistic painter John Singer Sargent in his masterpiece Madame X, exactly as she was, shallow, egocentric, and modestly garbed. The public was shocked. Madame Couturier became hysterical and the artist was forced to retire to London. The world's largest art gallery is the Winter Palace and the neighboring Hermitage in Leningrad, USSR. One of one has to walk 15 miles to visit each of the two, 322 galleries, which house nearly 3 million works of art and architectural remains. That's um, Leningrad is um, St. Petersburg, and I'm pretty sure the entire place is called the Hermitage. I could be mistaken. All right, the earliest works of art are Paleolithic animal paintings discovered in prehistoric caves in southern France and northern Spain. The paintings, which are superb, date from 30,000 to 10,000 BC. If he was not so famous as the inventor of the electric telegraph and Morse code, Samuel F. B. Morris would be remembered for introducing the digotype process to the United States from France and for his notable paint portrait paintings. He was a founder in 1825 of the National Academy of Design and its first president. In addition, he was for 40 years professor of painting and sculpture at the University of the City, University of the City of New York, now New York University. The Mona Lisa, completed by Leonardo DiCaprio in 1503, is considered the most valuable painting in the world. In 1962, its value was assessed for insurance purposes at 100 million. The painting, which hangs in the Louvre, apparently portrays the Duchess of Milan. But legend has it that its subject is Mona, short for Mona, Madonna. Lisa Gurandanding, whose husband, Franco de Gra Condo of Florence is said to have disliked the painting and refused to pay da Vinci for it. Francis the first of the King of England, ah, King of France, bought it about 10 years later for 492 ounces of gold, now equivalent to about $196,000. In his desperate struggle to liberate art from the best list of the, the world of objects, the Russian painter Kais Emir uh, Malevich in 1913 took refuge in the form of the square. His picture of a black square on white group was probably one of the first purely abstract paintings. Hans von Wiegren, the portrait of paintings supposedly by Vermeer, might have, might never have been caught had he not sold one to the Nazi leader, Nazi leader Hermann Goering. The post-war Dutch government 
assumed that the painting was a genuine Vermeer, indicated, indicated von Megren for sending a national treasure out of the country. The artist confessed the fraud and proved his point by painting another Vermeer for the jury of art critics. The art forger, Madame Claude Claude Latour, was so skilled that some of her vivid paintings of streets and suburbs of Paris in the style of Maurice Artillerio fooled even Artillerio himself. Artillerio confessed he often wasn't sure which was his and which was Latour's. In grassy fields above the fields of above the cliffs of Estart, Claude Monet would work on five or six paintings at the same time. As the weather changed, he would switch from one canvas to another. The largest painting in the world is the Battle of Gettysburg, painted in 1883 by Paul Philippe Drucu and 16 assistants who worked for two and a half years. It is 410 feet long, 70 feet high, and weighs 11,792 pounds. In 1964, the painting was bought by Joe King of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Sonaras was turned down by the Eclos de Duguin Boyer Arts when he applied for entrance. In the 19th century, the French painter Jean Collat, I don't know how to say his name, studied dying men in a hospital, shaved his head, and locked himself in with corpses in a morgue. It was in this way of carrying the spirit of social realism to an extreme when he was working on his masterpiece, The Raft of Medusa. It had been inspired by a sea disaster in which 149 passengers from a wrecked ship ended up drifting on a raft at sea. The raft drew furious protests from those who those of the classical school. The Swiss painter Angelica Kaufman was already famous at the age of 11. She died at 67, having painted all her life. Her portraits and historical paintings hang in nearly all the great museums of Europe. Henri, Henri Matisse it is La Batu, hung in the New York, New York's Museum of Modern Art for 47 days in 1964 before someone noticed it was upside down. About 116,000 people had passed in front of the painting before error was noted. As though he hadn't as though he didn't have anything else going for him. Leonardo da Vinci was described by people who knew him as the most beautiful man who ever lived. A fine quality Parisian rug, a fine quality Parisian rug containing at as many as one million knots in every three square feet may last as long as 500 years before it wears out. The record for both the largest and the heaviest mobiles, mobiles, sculptural objects that move and are usually suspended in midair, belongs to Alexander Clotter, 
His heaviest piece is spiral, which weighs 4,000 pounds. The largest weighing only 600 pounds, but it's 45 foot long and 17 feet high. Five year old Ash Ash Hill Gorky, the future non objective painter, stopped talking when he his father walked out on the family. He began to speak again only when he cried out in dismay on seeing his tutor leap from a cliff. The tutor had been the tutor had only been pretending, but the stunning sight restored Ashel's speech. The Statue of Liberty was first erected in Paris, where on July 4th, 1884, the government of France officially presented it to the United States. Five months later, the French disassembled the statue and shipped the shipped the carefully numbered pieces to New York aboard the warship Iser. The statue was the work of Estlan sculptor Frederick August Bothholde. A smaller version was erected on one of the islands, Isle of Swan, in the Seine River in Paris. The famous Athenium portrait of George Washington, which hangs in so many school rooms, was never finished intentionally after Gilbert Stuart painted it in 1796. He did not deliver it to Martha Washington, who had commissioned it, but kept it and copied it repeatedly in the hope of getting rich. He never finished the background so that he could tell Martha truthfully whenever she requested the portrait that it was incomplete. Vincent van Gogh is known to have sold only one painting. Fra Filippo Lippi, a Carmelite, Carmelite monk and one of the master painters of the Renaissance, used a modern, used as a model for his famous Madonna and child, the nun he ran off with. He also wrote a humorous romance in a racy style. Well, I guess that was Father Filippo. I didn't know that. Yeah, maybe, well, he's a monk. I don't know if that means it's anyway. Picasso chose to stay in his studio on the Rue des Augustines in Paris during World War II, rather than escape to England, the US or an unoccupied country. The elegant songwriter Cole Porter was noted for his lavish gift giving. One Christmas he gave more lavish than he himself realized. He bought 20 paintings from a little old lady who lived near his estate. Years later, after fame came to the elder painter, 20 of Porter's friends discovered they owned original paintings by Grandma Moses. The British art historian, two British art historians proved in 1970, 1978 that more than a dozen major paintings attributed to 19th century landscape artist John Constable were in fact painted by his son Lionel. Picasso who he who ah Picasso when he died in 1973 left in four repositories in the south of France the following 1876 paintings 
1,355 sculptures, 2,880 ceramics, more than 11,000 drawings and sketches, and some 27,000 etches, engravings, and lithographs in, in various states. His estate is worth the official appraisal one billion two hundred fifty one million six hundred and seventy three thousand two hundred French francs or approximately two hundred fifty million. Students were given a month to complete the competitive art animation at the esteemable Barcelona Art Museum a uh, Barcelona, Barcelona Academy of Fine Arts. Picasso, at the age of 15, completed the examination in one day and furthermore won first place over all adult competitors. An infamous murderer who was caught, brought to justice in Florence and hanged. Leonardo da Vinci, who already had made a name for himself, drew a sketch of the body and submitted it to the men responsible for commissioning the painting of the dead killer. Leonardo didn't get the assignment. Batalucci did. To this day, Batalucci's portraits of, of the hanged man decorate the, power, decorate the tower of the chief magistrate's palace in the former cultural capital of Europe. In his early days, Picasso kept warm by burning some of his drawings. Not only was he 27 years old or old, did Van Gogh start to draw. Charles Wilson Peel, the, port the patriot painter who did portraits of Washington, Hamilton, and John Paul Jones and other revolutionary heroes never saw a painting until he was a grown man. He was a saddle maker in Annapolis, Maryland, when he one day went to Norfolk to, for supplies and there saw paintings uh, for the first time. They were so bad that he was sure he could do better. On returning home, he started to paint, made money at it, and decided to make painting his career. He took lessons from John Singleton Copley in Boston and Benjamin West in London. He, he believed anyone could learn to paint, and he taught painting to his brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, nephews, nieces, and other relatives. Two of his sons, he had 17 children, Rembrandt and Raffaella, became famous painters, as did his brother James. <coughs> Excuse me. Claude Monet. <coughs> Claude Monet was painting the portrait of a huge oak tree that stood out vividly against a ruddy cliff in the in the Carrees near his home in Genevieve in 1883 when his work was interrupted by three weeks of bad weather. When Monet returned to the site, the tree was in full bloom, completely enveloped in buds. At the request of Monet, the mayor of the village organized a work party that proceeded to remove every single leaf from the tree. Monet then continued his painting where he had left off. The gene of the genre of art known as Cubism derived its name from a belittling remark made by Matisse 
in reference to a Baroque painting. Matisse said that the landscape looked as though it were wholly made up of little cubes. Paul Savan, Savan yeah, was 15, 56 years old when his first one-man expedi expedition opened in Fall God uh, Gallery, a shop in Rue Lapierre in Paris in 1895. Janet Flanner wrote that Gertrude Stein posts 80 times in 1906 for Picasso's portrait of Stein, after which he wiped the face wiped the face off, saying he couldn't see her anymore. And when finished the likeness in Spain, where he couldn't see her at all, he, he also said, when friends complained about the portrait didn't look like Stein, that someday Stein would look like the portrait, and she did. The Dutch painter, Peter Paul Ruben, Rubens, preferred to speak Italian rather than Dutch when talking to cultural people, cultured people, person, when talking to a cultured person. Even when he wrote letters in Dutch, he signed his name, Petro Pirlo. In 1830, during the depths of depression, of the depression, Andrew Mellon, the American financier, bought 21 paintings from Russian, from Russia's Hermitage Museum for seven million. The Russians needed cash and the American millionaire had lots of it, even in the depression. Picasso at the, and the poet Max Jacob down but not quite out in Paris shared a bed in turn. Jacob slept at night when Picasso worked and Picasso slept by day when Jacob worked as a novelty shop clerk. On arising in the morning, Jacob often had, ha, would have to walk on a floor carpeted in drawings. Later, Jacob's footprints had been removed by art experts. The Stein, the Steins, Gertrude and her brother Leo paid the equivalent of $30 for their first Picasso, girl with basket of flowers, and for three years, from 1906 to 1909, they controlled the Picasso output for the simple reason that no one else wanted a Picasso at the time. When they no longer could afford to buy, the Steins were given paintings by Picasso. As penance for a quarrel with Pope Julius II, Michelangelo in 1505 began a more than year long project creating a gigantic bronze portrait of His Holiness. Later, the portrait was melted down for canon. Um, Ambrose Old God. French art dealer, collector, and publisher made many small but wise investments in the paintings of Van Gogh, Cyan, Matisse, Picasso, and Royalette when there was no market for these artists destined for worldwide, worldwide claim. He accumulated and held their works for years, then slowly sold them to collectors and dealers and got rich in the process. The 
The facade of the Louvre runs two and a half miles. Both Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo were accused of performing dissections on living people in the pursuit of their anatomical studies. For this reason, Pope Leo denied Leonardo permission to study anatomy at the hospital in Rome. The famous cartoonist Al Sheffield has for three decades woven the name of his daughter Nina in his caricatures. For Hirschfeld, fans finding the hidden Nina was has become a regular sport. The United US Air Force uses Nina searches as a exercise to train bomber pilots to spot targets. A Pentagon consultant had scanned Hirschfeld cartoons looking for Nina as part of a six hundred thousand dollar grant sixty thousand dollar grant for his for the study of camouflage techniques. I am so rich that I just wiped out a hundred thousand francs, said Picasso after making a new picture he didn't like disappear from canvas. One of the common laborers on the Panama Canal was Paul Gauguin, the French painter and woodcutter artist, woodcut artist. I have to dig from, from 5.30 in the morning to 6 in the evening under tropical sun and rain. At night I am devoured by mosquitoes. About 25,000 workers died during construction. The first American to become a professional sculptor was a woman. Patience Lovell Wright. She worked in wax, taking her models from life, according, including some of the most important people in the, in the English and American society. Only one of her works is known to survive, Lord Chapman. William Pitt the Elder, completed in 1779, only in West, now in Westminster Abbey. Paul Emily Chabas, popular painting of a nude September morn, now in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York was not publicly seen for about two decades. It was created, it had created sensation when it was first exhibited in 1912. It was sold to a Russian and hidden during the revolution and not seen again until 1935 when it was discovered in a private collection in Paris. All right, the next chapter is called Better to Give. I'm guessing that's more about kind of like philanth philanth philanthropy. All right, um, thank you and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks.